I had lived in the UK from December 2, 2004, to April 30, 2018. During this 14-year period, I had a problem involving general practitioners. I was also attacked by the Pembroke during my 14-year stay. These attacks were concentrated around the year 2010. I also lived a deprived life, which partially resembled prison life, because of my lack of right to work. The Home Office had issued a legal notice in November 2009, banning private life on UK soil. I still have that notice. This meant I was to be single, and not have boyfriend or husband on UK soil. I had entered the UK married. This marriage was broken. I hear that if people change countries, this can cause their marriage to end. In my case, this end was compatible with the prevalent political climate. People can ask how the UK border agency could enforce their wish that I remain single for the duration I remain on UK soil. I will explain. I believe in trusting what legal bodies tell me in an official document they serve on me. I believe the UK border agency did want me to be single and unemployed as long as I remained on UK soil. Their wish was partially fulfilled during the entire 14-year period. The authorities cannot control who you see, who you live with. If they prohibit private life in the UK, they mean that UK border agency will deport me in due course even if I am happily married. Deportation is usually because you are an alien who does not have a visa. You entered without a visa, or overstayed your visa. Deportation can also be of legal residents who committed a crime. They do have an indefinite visa, but they are not citizens. In my case, the Home Office were conducting deportation proceedings on an alien who must not have a relationship on UK soil. They had also refused a right to work, in November 2006. A person with no right to work or marry is likely to do without these things. One thing that comes to light is that an alien who does not work or marry cannot have a legal case to apply for indefinite residence right? If they don't go hopping mad or commit suicide, all such marked individuals will leave. Why did they do that to me? Firstly, I feel if they did that, they surely had a reason. One lawyer told me white guys had more legal rights than non-white ones in the UK to import a woman. That meant the white guy who was sponsoring my application was targeted for downgrading his rights, so my application was unwelcome. There is general consensus of opinion in the UK that non-white women married to non-white guys were generally more successful in their relationship visa applications than non-white women married to white guys, as these types are often refused work permits, and there are many stories of their deportations back to their home countries. I am willing to uphold that this is probably something that happened to me also. However, it does not provide me with a full explanation of my 14 years of denial. This type of legal notice makes it very difficult to get married. An existing marriage or relationship would become very stressful since the couple won't know when there will be an early morning doorbell and the woman will be spirited away in an unmarked vehicle with blackened windows. Some relationships will break due to this stress, others will just be low quality. People say, if you had any brains, surely the Brit government would have given you a work permit. The British like to buy foreign intellect, but the converse is untrue. As a welfare state, the British unselfishly sacrifice economic gain to make Britain a social paradise for the most tribal and more backward third-world country female.